Christopher, first of all, the first reaction everyone's going to have here is, um, why? 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 Why did you choose to do what you did in that situation? It, it, it's, it's not what I would have done, uh, but it seems like you were making yourself almost a target for this madman. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to answer your question, uh, it, what you couldn't see off camera is at the intersection where he first, where you see him arrive when I really got loud. Off to the left, there is a, a, a log jam of vehicles, people trapped in their cars because the first cars saw him shooting, they stopped. So there was probably 30 or 40 cars with people trapped in them. So if he would have went to the left, as you see him start to walk right there as it's playing, he would have killed people at point blank range. Now. Uh, to me, I was on the fourth floor. I liked my odds. Yeah, we have floor to ceiling windows, but at the same time, people at point blank range would have been killed. And I, I, I made a calculated risk. Uh, well, uh, Christopher, of explain him to us, though, the, the, the process that's going through your. I mean, to me, it would take me by such surprise. I don't know if I would know even how I would react other than calling 911. Um, how, how quickly are you processing these things and, and, and thinking about the situation? And at the same time, you've got to be thinking about your own safety to, to some extent. Uh, you know, the, it took me about 20 seconds to, to come up with uh, something in my head where, you know, what can I do? How can I affect the situation while not putting myself at, at, at too, much, too much risk? I saw people being shot at point blank range. Those people, especially the ones that were parked, were going to die. So at, at this point, my, all I wanted to do was, was stop him to get his attention to bring him back to me. If that meant he was going to shoot, and I, I felt like I could get out of the way. If I didn't, then I, I had a lot uh, of Explain this part, because we're kind of looking at the problem. part right now, Christopher, where it looks like you're having a conversation with him, where you're screaming at him, he's screaming back. At that point, I mean, are you visible to him? Absolutely. I have a floor to ceiling windows. And actually, at one point, I took my uh, body. It, it, the, the window actually comes down. Uh, the open part of the window comes down to my hips. So I was hanging uh, about 70, uh, 70, 60 to 70 percent of my body from my, my whole uh, top torso out the window because I wanted to make my, uh, myself a, a, an attractive enough target to him to get his attention. You know, obviously, if it's just my head or I'm poking my, my face out the window, it's not going it, to get enough attention from him. But at the same time, I felt like if I could bring him to me and I could let him know that I was prepared to die and that I wasn't afraid of death, I would somehow take the power away from him. Because, you know, in situations That's like that... Hey, Christopher, you know, I'm he listening has to you. I'm amazed. With that gun. I'm absolutely amazed. Let me, let, me, let me bring this to another level now. Um, I don't know your situation, but uh, your family, when your family found out what you did, when your friends found out what you did, uh, anyone else that you're close to, what sort of reactions did you get from them? Uh, you know, so, some of my friends, you know, they, they know I'm a little bit, uh, you know, uh, risk averse. So, uh, you know, they thought I was a little bit crazy. My mom was worried. You know, she said you could have been killed. And I said, well, you know, three or four other people could have been killed. I mean, I, I don't I don't necessarily see my life uh, more valuable than anyone else. And if I could if I could take a small percentage chance with my own life to remove a very large percentage of somebody who who is facing a point blank execution, then it, it's a calculated risk that I'm willing to take, and I would take that risk over and over again. Well, Christopher, I'm glad everything worked out fine, that you're safe tonight, that those 40 cars backed up, no one got shot there, uh, and police did get their suspect. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, and again, incredible, Christopher, absolutely incredible.